Hello, my dear friends. This is Phil again, and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you what exactly is a blooded build. This is a tutorial session to tell you why people choose blooded build, what's the benefit the blooded build can bring to you, and how exactly you can start to build your blooded build. And firstly, the blooded build is mainly used to actually boost your damage. It's very popular and really overpowerful before the Wastelander patch. So after the Wastelander patch comes out, all the damage boosts related to blood build has been nerfed from multiplicative to additive. But the blood build is still the strongest build in the current game. And the damage boosts for blood build mainly coming from three different factors. The first one is mutation. The adrenal reaction is a super powerful mutation for blood build. If you keep your health bar below 20%, and if you equip the stringent number perk under the charisma, this mutation is gonna grant you 33% base damage boost. And the second damage boosting factor for blooded build is this nerd rage perk. So below 20% health, you will gain 40 damage resistance, but that is not the key thing. The key thing is this 20% damage boost and 15% AP regen. So this perk along with the adrenal reaction mutation can give you around 100% base damage boost. That means it doubles the base damage of any weapon you're holding. And the third factor actually coming from the weapon that the bloody build is going to use. Let's take this blooded railway rifle as an example. This blooded railway rifle have 271 damage per shot. And that damage is incredible, considering this is a full automated rifle. And by the way, the fire rate for all automated rifle is 75 in the game, without any legendary effects. So all the weapons with blooded as their primary legendary effects can deal more damage with less health you have. So in general, every 5% health less you have, the blood weapon gives you 5% base damage boost. So basically, if you are running a build with only 5% of your max health, you're gonna maximize the damage output of a blooded weapon with 95% base damage boost. So with these three factors, the adrenal reaction mutation, the nerd rage perk, and the blooded legendary effect on the weapon, you can have a little bit less than 180% base damage boost. That's what makes the blooded build so powerful. I can give you a quick demo to show if I actually increase my health, the damage of this blood weapon can drop. So currently my health is at 11%. So I'm actually taking advantage of both the blooded legendary effect as well as the nerd rage perk because my health is under 20%. If I boost it a bit, now my health is over 20%. We're gonna check what's the damage of this weapon now. Now its damage dropped to 239 from 271. That's about 30 damage point decrease. And if I cure my radiation, Apparently I need to heal myself. Now let's check the damage of the railway rifle. It's dropped to 212. So you can see with more health, the damage of my output drops. It's not that significant at this moment because as I mentioned, the bloody build has been nerfed after the Wastelander patch. All the damage boost only based on the base damage. And with the level 50 railway rifle, the base damage is 95. By increasing my health, I already got almost 50% base damage drop. So that's how the bloody build boosts their damage. But to be a bloody build is not only for the damage boost. The damage boost is definitely sweet to have. But the main reason I am running all my four characters as blood build is because it made life much easier. It's basically a quality of life build. It's not damage output. I mean, I'm not always running a meta build. For me, the quality of life is more important in my daily playing. And the reason 
and make my life much easier is because the unyielding armor set. Each piece of unyielding armor gives you up to three points to all your stats. All your stats, which means the seven special stats will be all increased up to three points if you are wearing unyielding armor and running with a bloody build. As long as your health is below 20%, every single piece of unyielding armor will add three points to each one of your specials. That's insanely powerful. For example, let me show you my special. With the five pieces of unyielding armor equipped, you can see how insanely all my stats are. One point here is the unyielding armor doesn't actually boost the endurance. This is purely to avoid the unyielding armor make one single player become invincible with so many endurance. My current character is commando build. It only have three points of strength. But with the help of the unyielding set, it boosts my strength to 90. That means I can carry much more. And as you understand, the weight management is always the pain on the back in the game. And with higher perception, you can detect enemy from further distance and increase your vast accuracy. With charisma, you can sell things with better price and buy things with lower price from the vendor robots, which make it much easier for cap farming. With a high intelligence like this, you can craft anything with maximum durability. And the most important thing is you gain XP much quicker because every single point of intelligence gives you 3% of extra XP's. So you level up much quicker than the non blooded build. And even better, with the higher luck, all the gears you looted from the dead body will have better durabilities. And that means you can sell them with better prices. And if you are a ranged build, you can achieve critical every other shot, which can again boost your damage significantly. And with the higher agility, you have much larger AP pool, you can run much longer, you can keep on shooting people in vats without any breaking. You can sneak like professional even without the sneak perk. Neither the shadow modes on your armor. So in general, the blooded build have a much better life to live. You have less thing to worry about inside the game. And that's the main reason I prefer to run the blooded build. Then at the end of the video, I will show you a quick tip uh, how to keep your health lower than 20%. So what you need is some toxic goose or toxic water. They both can give you a lot of radiations. For example, the toxic water gives you 30 radiation per drink and toxic goo gives you 125. So with these two toxic drinks, you can always keep your radiation as low as you want. Apparently, if you have a gamma gun, you can always use that gamma gun to shoot your own toes to give yourself radiations. Or you can run close to a radiation dump to get radiations. But I personally prefer these two things. They are very easy to get. You can find them in a lot of places, especially the toxic goose. You can find unlimited toxic goose in West Tech. Okay, so that's everything for this episode. In next episode, I'm gonna show you how do I build my blooded Commando, a very powerful build in the game. One of the meta, I would say, in terms of damage wise, it's the most powerful build in the game right now. So stay tuned in, but until next time, Phil Legends out.